a sense of inclusion, a respect for our institutions, our way of life, rule of law, and a respect for each other. I hope that he maintains that spirit throughout this transition, uh, and I certainly hope that's how his presidency has a chance to begin. I also told my team today to keep their heads up because the remarkable work that they have done day in, day out, often without a lot of fanfare, often with a lot of, a lot of attention, work in agencies, work in uh, obscure areas of policy that make government run better and make it more responsive uh, and make it more efficient and make it more service friendly so that it's actually helping more people. That remarkable work has left the next president with a stronger, better country uh, than the one that existed eight years ago. So win or lose in this election, that was always our mission. That was our mission from day one. And everyone on my team should be extraordinarily proud of everything that they have done. And so should all the Americans that I've had a chance to meet all across this country who do the hard work of building on that progress every single day. Teachers in schools, doctors in an ER clinic, small businesses putting their all into starting something up, making sure they're treating their employees well. All the important work that's done by moms and dads and families and congregations in every state, the work of perfecting this union. So this was a long and hard fought campaign. A lot of our fellow Americans are exultant today. A lot of Americans are less so. But that's the nature of campaigns. That's the nature of democracy. It is hard and sometimes contentious and noisy. Uh, it's not always inspiring. But to the young people who got into politics for the first time and may be disappointed by the results, I just want you to know you have to stay encouraged. Don't get cynical. Don't ever think you can't make a difference. As Secretary Clinton said this morning, fighting for what is right is worth it. Sometimes you lose an argument. Sometimes you lose an election. You know, the path that this country has taken uh, has never been a straight line. We zig and zag and Sometimes you know, we move in ways that some people think uh, is forward and others think is moving back. Um, and that's okay. I've lost elections before. Joe hasn't, but you know. So I've been, I've been sort of sure. You beat me badly. <laughs> um, that's the way politics works sometimes. We, we try really hard to persuade people that we're right. And then people vote. And then if we lose, we learn from our mistakes, we do some reflection, we lick our wounds, we brush ourselves off, we get back in the arena, we go at it. We try even harder the next time. The point, though, is, is that we all go forward with a presumption of good faith in our fellow citizens. Because that presumption of good faith is essential to a vibrant and functioning democracy. That's how this country has moved forward for 240 years. That's how we've pushed boundaries and promoted freedom around the world. That's how we've expanded the rights of our founding to reach all of our citizens. It's how we have come this far. And that's why I'm confident that this incredible journey that we're on as Americans will go on. And I'm looking forward to doing everything that I can to make sure that the next president 
is successful in that. I've said before, uh, I think of this job as being a relay runner. You take the baton, you run your best race, and hopefully by the time you hand it off, uh, you're a little further ahead. You've made a little progress. And I can say that we've done that, and I want to make sure that handoff is well executed because ultimately uh, we're all on the same team. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.